Oh my god! Oh my gosh! 50. Oh my gosh! If you are hearing that, you are being lied to. Today, I'm throwing nothing but big baits. And I'm not even really fishing uh, a body of water that's capable of like giant bags. I mean, there's some 20 pound bags that are caught here, but for the most part, most of these fish are a pound and a half to three pounds with a four being a big one and a five being a giant. And so, you know, if you've ever heard that you need to fish big, big waters that have big fish in them to catch, you know, big swim bait fish, I'm hoping to prove you wrong. Hoping to catch five big fish today. I'm really hoping that I can catch 20 pounds. 20 pounds is the goal. So let's get on to it. After getting on the lake, I saw that the water temp was 57 degrees and the water color was a little off in comparison to what it usually is. We had about a foot and a half to two foot of visibility. I decided to run over to this small man-made pocket over on the west side. I felt like with water temps being near 60 degrees, the fish should really start pushing up into areas like this as they start to spawn. There's one. Oh my, is that a smallmouth? What is that? That's a mudfish. What the heck? I didn't even know these suckers were in here. <clears throat> Look at that. Ancient, don't wreck my swim bait, dude. One thing you don't want to do is get your uh, fingers in this dude's mouth. See that? You not. They can clamp down hard, and they got some teeth. Eww, look at that prehistoric looking guy. Hug, get the juices flowing. Gets the juices flowing for sure. Don't think uh, I'm gonna get a ton of bites today. I mean, there are a lot of fish that live in here, but Man, like I said, I'm fishing for a lot of pound and a half to three pounders. You know, I'm just looking for five big bites. And I don't know what bait they're going to come on. I'm trying to not throw the six inch swim bait a whole lot because I do have a lot of confidence in that. And uh, that'll be kind of my uh, backup plan if I can't get bit on a glide bait or this big soft swim bait here big mag draft but we'll just see what happens started off on a little just a little spawning pot i mean the water's 50 oh my gosh there's one oh yes are you kidding me are you kidding me <laughs> We're not even. We just started fishing, baby. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Today might be fun. I shouldn't get my hopes up, but look at that. Freaking chunk. Oh, that was fun. All right. Check it out. Just started fishing. Already had two bites. One was that, that mud fish. Prehistoric looking creature. Pretty cool. Got my confidence. But man, I'll tell you what, this bass just absolutely smoked that thing. Not a giant giant, but hey, if we're gonna catch 20 pounds, we're gonna need some filler fish. That's a solid fish right there. Starting off the day with a 2.97, almost a three pounder. Gosh crush that thing man this could be fun we just got into this little pocket here like i go <sighs> i've always wanted to do a day like this where i just do nothing but big baits that fish came off of this eight inch mag draft i've only got one of them so <sighs> we're gonna throw the glide bait <sighs> i'm jacked i'm jacked i'm jacked Woo! Just 
caught whatever whatever they are look at that that's exactly what they are well here i was thinking i wasn't throwing a bait that was big enough look at that thing look at that gizzard chad dude that is exactly what they are down there look at that i wouldn't call that exactly matching the hatch but <laughs> sure makes my bait look small all of a sudden even though I caught one bass here, I was starting to wonder if the fish were pushing up to spawn or if they were still out. I just felt like I should have caught more fish here. So I decided to run another similar area, another spawning pocket, and see what would happen. Oh my god. Look at that chunk. Man. I was just about to kick it on high. Chunky fish. Looks like he's fresh. Alrighty, well, we've gone about an hour without catching a fish. I was <laughs> I was already starting to lose a lot of confidence in my baits, but I'm just keeping that thing locked in. It's so easy for us as anglers to just resort to the same same stuff we do all the time. And it's not a terrible thing, but I just, I wanna learn this and I wanna, I wanna be confident in it. So fish number two is a 2.22. So a two, two and a quarter is the smallest fish so far. I'm, I'm anxious to see that we get on this uh, eight inch mag draft. I'm gonna be alternating between the, the big mag draft and that glide bait a little bit. I'm gonna let that one go. I fish quite a bit of rock and haven't had a bite yet. Um, that's a lot of times where fish are caught around here. Um, so it's just interesting. Maybe it just doesn't work out with that swim bait. But I got one off a dock, one off some grass. Just gonna keep on looking around and uh, keep chucking that thing. Yes. This video is brought to you by my fishing apparel business, Finn Fishing. At Finn Fishing, I have USA made sun shirts. I have bass hats with a wooden bass badge. I have rod gloves and more. And right now for the month of April, if you buy one of my USA made sun shirts, you actually get a free Fin Fishing Rod Glove. All you gotta do is add the sun shirt you like to cart, add the rod glove that you like to cart, it will automatically discount at checkout. Shopping at Fin Fishing is truly the best way to help support this channel and help me continue to make lake break videos for you. I'm gonna leave a link down below in the description. I really appreciate the support. Again, even though I caught another fish here, both the fish I caught looked very fresh, meaning it looked like they had just moved into the spawning type areas. So I decided to look Look at areas that I would consider staging areas. Staging areas are areas on the lake that bass will move up to after they winter but before they spawn. So I ran over to this island. Although this island in the immediate area around it is fairly shallow, some of the deepest water in this harbor is right in front of this island in the canal that leads out to Lake Erie. So I can imagine fish wintering in this canal and moving up around this island to stage before spawning. Oh, let's go. That guy. Gosh. Look how pale and ghost white that fish is. Alrighty, well, we just got fish number three. Another, I mean, solid fish. I wish we were, uh, I'm, I'm getting some bites. I mean, I'm getting a few bites here and there. I fished some shallow wood and just did not get any bites. And I'm back out in uh, just some scattered grass and started chucking this thing around and he, uh, he killed it. That is a 227, 227. So I haven't caught anything over two and a, under two and a quarter and still haven't caught anything well over three pounds, but we are, uh, we started at a little after seven, it's 9.26, that's three bites in about two, two and a half hours. Let's go, baby. Feel like we just gotta get in the right little zone or area and maybe this is it. We will start popping them. All right. 
right, number four. Another one, probably about two and a quarter or so, about the sea. But I was really shallow where I caught that last fish. I'm probably a hundred yards away. And uh, I'm just trying to find an edge to this grass. And I kind of, that fish weighs, let's see, 2.51. We need to catch a lot bigger than twos if we're gonna hit 20 pounds, but we're just under 10 pounds now um, with four fish. Everything on that eight inch mag draft so far. It's been a lot of fun just kind of learning that bait, uh, the speed that I like to fish that bait. That fish, kind of like that very first fish I caught, ripped it out of the grass and he popped it. I thought he was about to be a lot bigger. I mean, a solid fish there, but um, man, I just hope we can uh, start catching a, a few bigger ones. It's uh, 9.43, so we uh we have a ton of time uh, well, over five hours to get up to 20 pounds and i'm just still learning how to really use that bait hopefully this is a deal hopefully once i got to this edge maybe i can follow the edge around of this kind of grass there's a lily there's some pad stems up shallow maybe this is where those fish will be but um we're just kind of experimenting i'm really just throwing that swim bait i mean i'm just i'm trying not to lay it down at all uh, which is actually very hard it's becoming easier but it is very hard i'm gonna retie i'll tell you what it would be nice to have a the weedless version of this bait with what i'm doing right now after catching a couple of fish in this grass flat, I figured that I could come back here and spend time covering the grass to catch a few more bass. But before I did that, I wanted to check out a few more isolated pieces of cover to try and pick up my limit fish. Now looking at Google Earth and my topo maps, there was a point close by that had some deeper water on it, so I decided to hit that point. Oh my gosh. Gosh. It's hard to tell from the camera, but this was actually a really big bite. The fish knocked about a foot of slack in the line, but unfortunately didn't get hooked up. So I decided to just continue fishing down this stretch of bank. I could see in the distance a big seawall. I hadn't fished any seawalls yet today, and I thought I would burn down the bank to see if fish were relating to them. Come on, big girl. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just had to say it, I guess. <laughs> that <laughs> was sweet. I hope I got that bite on the GoPro. God, was that? I hope I got that on the GoPro because that fish popped it right there at the surface. That is a, a good one. Better than those last one. That's number five though. Still, I'm looking for those four and five pounders. And we uh, haven't, caught, haven't caught any four or five pounders yet. So I'm hoping that we get into some. That fish weighs 302. That is number five. It's the biggest one of the day so far. And we're right at exactly 13 pounds. So, we need to get some big ones, but man, what a sweet bite that was. I literally just said, come on, big girl. So, gosh, that was fun though. Man, really starting to feel confident with that glide, or with that eight inch mag. Man, that's what a beautiful fish. Hmm. Oh my God, there's another one. All right, goodness gracious. Yeah, uh -oh. love it when the scale's still on. All right, there's our, there's our sixth fish. Our small fish right now is a 2.22. I don't think he's gonna be quite that. These fish are thick. Yeah, he's a 2.09. So it doesn't help us at all. But thank you, fish, because you were a lot of fun. Oh 
Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. A bass just took that big swim bait off of the log. Off of the, I just got hung up right there. And a bass took it off. You are kidding. After getting several bites on seawalls, I thought maybe I was just overthinking everything. Maybe the fishing was as easy as finding a seawall, pulling up to it, and catching bass. So I knew a part of the harbor that had more seawalls, and I thought I would go check them out. But before I went there, I wanted to quickly cover the other side of this grass flat where I'd caught a few fish earlier. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. It's definitely gonna help. <laughs> yeah. All right. Just got an upgrade fish. I think this is actually gonna be the biggest fish of the day so far he uh he wanted that thing man head first down the gullet here we go gosh that's a little bit more like what we're talking about right there 348 348 sorry bud <sighs> I'm just gonna keep chucking this thing around. I mean, doing the exact same thing I've been doing all day. Like I said, about every time I uh, am about to give up, I either catch one or I get bit. And uh, we've had seven fish in the boat on the eight inch mag draft and probably 10 to 12 bites on it. I mean, I've had some really good bites that just didn't get it. I've only got one of these bad boys. Um, and it's starting to get a little chewed up, but we're just going to keep on keeping on. Gosh. After catching this bass, which was the biggest one of the day, I probably should have decided to stay in this area and milk it for everything it was worth. Between the seawall close by and the grass, I had had seven or eight bites and landed five keepers in a relatively short amount of time. But... I didn't decide to do that. Instead, I decided to run and try to find other areas that were similar because as a fisherman, the grass is always greener somewhere else, literally. And I thought maybe I could find a big school of fish in a grass patch somewhere close by. So I spent a long time fishing another large grass flat where the water was actually quite a bit clearer, but nothing. Then I fished some more grass and again, nothing. Then I fished a lot more rock jetties and seawalls and a little bit all over the place. And all I had to show for it was this. Definitely the smallest one, probably a pound and a quarter on that guy. Let's get that. It's almost the same size. I continued to beep bop all around with very little results for a number of hours. And finally, with about an hour left to go in my day, I decided to run back to that grass flat and the part of the lake that yielded most of my bass today. And well, this happens. Dude, I don't know what it is. Oh, look at that. As soon as we get back over here. I don't know exactly why it is, but the water over here is substantially dirtier. And I've gotten a lot more bites, not just in this general area, but a little bit all over the place. So if you've ever heard someone say, hey, you need clear water to catch them on a swim bait, you are being lied to. And even myself, I've said that before. And you can see, I mean, you can only see this bait down about, oh, I'd say about a foot. So 
don't be afraid to pick up that swim bait in a little bit muddier more off color water they can still feel that bait forgot to weigh that fish i don't think he would have helped us though he was about a two pounder i think we need a 227 ish right over here in this grass I've, this is the grass i was catching i think i caught three fish in including the big one that i caught for the day so far and then way up there where it even looks a little bit more off color it's kind of hard to tell this morning there's another one gosh there he is not gonna help I don't think. Let's weigh him real quick. We need a 227. Nope, 230. Well, it's about 2.30. It's time for me to get on the road here, but we fished for about seven hours today, and I pretty much fished the eight inch mag draft exclusively. I picked up the glide bait a little bit here and there, but man, this bait before today, I had never caught a single bass on it. I think I had about 15 or 16 bites on this bait today. I ended up catching 10 of those fish, putting them in the boat. We had somewhere around 14 and a quarter, 14 and a half pounds total in our weight. So I didn't hit my 20 pound mark, but man, I, I learned a lot about this bait today and just gained a ton of confidence in a bigger bait and i'm really pumped about that so if you guys enjoyed this kind of breaking down a body of water style video i'm gonna leave my most recent lake break video that i did right here i caught a ton of fish and had a ball over in michigan in this one also if you guys want to help support the channel click this link for fin fishing i will see you guys in the next one